What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Fast Movers RC TV, and we back with another vlog. And um, I've been gone a little minute. I've been having a few health issues, so I'm just getting out of the hospital and in better health now. Um, things are getting better, but we ain't gonna get too much into that. Um, I just want to do a quick vlog on uh, basically cleaning my car, and I'm gonna go over. The setup that I have on my car you know the camber and just a little basic uh, uh, setups that I have going on so y'all know what I'm working with and it works on most of the tracks that I go on around in Florida so uh, just stay tuned real quick man and uh, we're gonna be back and I'm gonna get get to it all right Hey, what's going on, man? It's Fast Movers RC, and uh, we're back with another vlog, vlog number two, I believe. And uh, we're about to get this thing cleaned up real quick, and uh, I'm going to show y'all my overall setup basic setup that I use when I run on the track all right so uh, just give me a minute and uh, we'll get this thing cleaned up man let's go We back now we got this thing all cleaned up you know she's nice and shiny ready for the next race looks good simple green and a little bit of WD-40 she looks brand new all right so now we're gonna talk about the little the general setup that I have on the car um, like I told you on the first blog, I normally run a 774 in the diffs. Um, and I tried the 1005 and it worked great, you know, as long as it's good grip. Um, as far as like camber, um, I run negative one in the front and negative two in the in the rear. 
um, in my shocks, I run 35 weight in the front and 30 in the rear, and I run emulsion shocks. Emulsion shocks, I don't run the bladders. I, I think the emulsion shocks just have overall better handling than the bladder shocks on all the tracks that I run at. Um, I've tested and it seems like the emulsion definitely works better, like they land better off the jumps without the car getting upset. Just um, all around handling on the track. Um, uh, it's basically, that's basically it. I, I really didn't go too far away from the base setup. I think the only thing that I changed here is, uh, let me see, I'll show you, is the rear links. Let's see if I can get a shot. Maybe. But I'm running the links the second from the bottom. And I think the stock setting was would be in the middle, but for most of the tracks, because most of the tracks I run on, it's a good, you know, medium to low grip. You know, every once in a while I'll get on the track where it's high grip and I'll put the links up just to, to loosen up the rear end and get a little bit more corner speed with all that traction. But and I have the pills. I don't know. See if you can see. These are the pills that I run here. Let's see where they at? Okay. Yeah, that's the pills that I run there in the rear. Um, those are the pills that give me a little bit more sp sp uh, stability in the rear and uh, calm the rear down. Um, I also run my battery tray, I run it to the back, further as it can go, to put a little bit more weight on the rear to also calm the rear down. Because when I first was running it, I had a little trouble, you know, with the rear fish tailing and, and, you know, just being a little out of control on the corners, and this definitely helps. It definitely calms the rear down. Um, when the traction goes up, I'll put it back up, you know, to loosen up the rear. but. For the most part, I keep it in the rear though. So that's basically the basic setup. Um, like I said, the car is really consistent on like every track that I go on. I can pretty much predict how it's gonna do. Um, I make very minimum setups, but in the future, I do want to, you know, start exploring with a little bit more different setups. Um, you know, that's about it. Um, let's see, my droop, I run 118 in the rear. And I believe 103 in the front. Yeah, that's about it. Um, but overall, you know, I love the car. Um, I've been running mostly e-buggy all year i think i ran nitro one time i've been having a lot of you know troubles with nitro not the car itself but i've been having you know engine problems and the servos going out and uh, my receiver battery going out so throughout the year while i was racing e-buggy i've been you know replacing everything and got a brand new res engine in there but i'll do another blog on on the nitro but you know, e-buggy's been good. I've been having some pretty good finishes. A uh, couple, couple podium pitch. You know, podium finishes. My last race, actually, I won first place. Um, but on the track, you know, that, that's that's another thing. That's that's a reason why I changed my my diffs because I won, but my car just felt like it was lacking drive. So. I just needed to be a little bit more aggressive because it was too easy to drive and it, and it just felt slow. So I made that change and I'm, I'm gonna see how it go on the next race. Um, but that's about it. Um, show you the tires. You know, I got the tires here. I'm, I run for Jetco, as you can see. And uh, these, I told y'all that, that I was using Stings in the last vlog, but they wasn't. These were Marcos in the last run. Ultra soft Marcos, super soft Marcos. 
and uh, they were great. Loved his tire. And as you can see, I ran three runs. And as you can see, it still has plenty of meat up there. Plenty of meat. You can see that right there. Yeah, so I, it's probably good for a couple more runs, a couple more practice runs, maybe a qualifier. But I love these tires. They're super consistent. They work on every track I've been on. And uh, yeah. So, and I'll show you my body here. with the paint job from DRC Graphics. You see how I get y'all in there? DRC Graphics, and he does an awesome job on my paint jobs. Um, he does my stickers, see my stickers? The World of RC, Dialed Hobbies, Red, Jetco, Agama. And this is actually a part of the paint job. This is not a sticker. Like He actually painted this on the body, painted my Fast Movers RC logo on there, and I thought that was really neat. So I'm definitely gonna st stick with that. But as you can see, he does excellent, awesome job. Y'all need some bodies, definitely hit him up. DRC Graphics, they do anything. Anything that has to do with graphics. But, uh, but that's about it, y'all. Just wanted to go through a little base setup of my car. I know a lot of people on Facebook were asking me to do like a, a a setup sheet and I never really got around to it, but I just gave y'all a little base setup of my e-buggy and hopefully I'll be at the track soon. I, like I said, I've been going through a lot of uh, health problems and I have to go up to North Carolina this week to uh, bury my granddad. My granddad just passed away, so it's been a real rough month for me but we're gonna get through it hopefully i may be able to get to the track this sunday up there at uh world of rc uh, my, my home track i haven't raced there in over five years it would be great if i could make it there but if i can't hopefully i'll be back at the track in a couple weeks here down in florida um Oh yeah, I just wanna oh yeah, I got the uh Hobby Wing XR8 SCT um ESC and the Hobby Wing uh 1900 KV dope setup. Um I run a 17 pinion gear and uh like I say it's been working at all the tracks. And um uh, yeah, that's about it. Um so, um, but yeah, before I go, if y'all can, please subscribe to my channel, Fast Movers RC TV. I'm gonna start doing blogs like this and be more consistent and, and just try to give out a little bit of information that I know. Um, and maybe it'll make your, your race program a little bit better. Or you can also drop some, some advice in the comments for me for a setup, you know? It works both ways. Anyway, I'll catch y'all on the next one, man. Appreciate y'all tuning in. All right.